Yo, welcome to a new video series that I'm doing where I predict football matches and tell you my opinion on games before they actually happen. So basically, I'll be doing Real Madrid versus Liverpool FC, and this is being hosted at or well, in Paris, not at. But uh, yeah, I'll be predicting that get match for you today, and I'll be telling you what I think will be going down in the match. You know, from the first half or up until the second half, and if it goes to extra time, anything like that. So, um, what I'm thinking is going to happen, I reckon Liverpool will take the lead in the first half and dominate the game quite well. And I think the sort of players that you'll be seeing performing to a high standard is the likes of Salah. Obviously, he hasn't been doing too much recently, but I think this is the sort of game that he gets right into it again because he's a big game player. You don't really see him too often in shadow out of these sort of things. He's really in the thick of it. Um... I don't think Diaz will have a strong game because I think he's quite new to this sort of thing. But I think you'll see Mane doing his bits as well. But uh, yeah, that's uh, the players that I think will perform well. Uh, the defenders, I think they'll have a standard game. I don't think they'll defend um, greatly at times. I think there'll be quite a few mistakes. Not from the likes of Van Dyke. I think Canate, maybe Robertson, but Van Dyke, you know, and Arnold are pretty standard. For this game so I reckon Liverpool will take a 2-0 lead in the first half then I think Real Madrid will really change up the game they'll hit them hard 3-2 as a final result with what I'm thinking will happen so the 3-2 is obviously came out of nowhere but I reckon Benzema will score two goals and I reckon Vinny will score another goal obviously people are predicting that Gareth Bale will do something he might do something but that's if he gets brought on Obviously, Ancelotti hasn't been a big fan of him. Zidane hasn't been a big fan of him. But, you know, Ancelotti has given him praise in the past and said, all oh, Real Madrid fans, you know, need to show him respect and everything. But I don't really think, you know, that's going to make much of a difference with him wanting to bring him on. I don't think that's going to make much of a difference. But, yeah, there could be a chance that he does score a goal, you know, near towards the end. But I don't think Gareth Bale is a first-team starter for this match. So, yeah, two goals for Benzema, one goal for Vinner. So, as a final result, I predict that it will be 3-2. And uh, I think this is just a classic comeback for Real Madrid in this Champions League season. Because, obviously, they've done it with PSG, they've done it with Chelsea, they've done it with City, which is pretty sad for me. But, uh, yeah, I think this is going to be a repetition of what they've done recently. And... Moving on to the second half of the video with what I had in mind. So there's this segment that I'm going to be doing where I tell you what bets that I think would be worthwhile doing. So I myself bet on Betway. Uh, I don't know what you guys do it on, but I don't bet all the time. It's just whenever I think, oh, that's a decent odd, and I just go for it and see what happens. But I only do like 50p or a pound or two quid, just something small. And I try to like make profit on that, then use the bet that I've won from doing that and just invest back into it, maybe get a bit more money doesn't all the time work out but it's some you know makes the game more interesting you're engaged with what's going on more so you know it could be a way of engagement for you guys i'm not too sure but that's what i do um so the odds and bets i'm thinking of going on is junior to assist benzema which is six to one i think that's a decent enough odd and i think this will happen because it kind of happened well it did happen in the city game where Vinny just ran past for fernandinho as though he wasn't even there, because obviously Fernandinho isn't a right back. But if he can do that against a professional footballer that easily like that, there's no reason why he can't do it to Arnold, because Arnold isn't human. Well, Arnold is human, but he's not perfect, right? So there's every reason he can do that. And obviously he's becoming more and more confident in the way he's playing alongside Benzema. So I feel like he is capable of doing so. So yeah, I would maybe bet on that, but it's totally up to you. So Mo Salah to score an assist, 12 to 1, is another bet that I had in mind. So I reckon he'll do this because obviously, as I said, Liverpool will have a strong half for the first half. And I reckon after that, things will crumble. But I think Salah does have a higher potential to score an assist. There's no reason for why he can't do that. Um, then I also have Canato to score a header, 18 to 1. I've obviously had that in mind because he scored like two or three headers in the games previous in the Champions League. So I'm pretty sure there's a high possibility of him doing that. And obviously there's a good chance of that happening because Real Madrid's defence isn't that good, as you could see from the City game and the Chelsea game. They let a lot of goals in. 
and Duncan as he seemed pretty weak at times, especially with Alaba and Militao. Militao just does he seems a bit shaky at times, as though like I'm actually playing for Real Madrid. Then he you know, that's where the problem lies. So yeah, I reckon Canati could have a big chance of doing that and obviously that as an odd is really good. So the other one after that, I've got Benzema to score two or more goals for thirteen to two. I think this is a really good odd, to be honest with you. Because Benzema scored a lot of goals in the Champions League this season. The same with La Liga. There's no reason for why he can't do this. So, yeah, I really do think it's an odd that you should consider to, on betting on. Um, I'm obviously thinking of betting on it myself, but it's up to you once again. Then Real Madrid to win 3-2, 22-1. As I said before, this is a high possibility of happening. Because, you know, every game that Real Madrid has played, it's been a high score in matches. So, yeah, I reckon that could happen. And obviously, Real Madrid, real well, not Real Madrid, but Liverpool are bound to score because they have a really good attacking force this season and they have previously, and they've played together for a while now. It's just that Real Madrid are Benzema and they seem to be the comeback kings at the minute. So, yeah, let, let me know what you guys think in the comments. But, yeah, they're the odds that I'm thinking of betting on. You obviously bet on them if you want. And if you don't bet, don't bet at all. And be sure to bet safe, safely. Don't put stupid amounts of money on if you want to bet. Just bet like one or two quid. And if you lose it, you lose it. Don't put loads of money into it to make your money back because that's where betting problems happen. So yeah, just be cautious. So I bet on Betway and they're the odds that you can find on there. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoy the match. And uh, I myself hope that Liverpool don't win because, yeah, I don't really want... The backlash of Liverpool fans saying, oh, we won the Champions League and City have lost it again. So, yeah, let's hope Liverpool don't win this one and we see a Real Madrid win, even though it's an English team. But I'm sorry to say that's just how I am, Liverpool. But enjoy the match anyway for all you fans and all you neutrals just wanted to get a bit of entertainment out of this. So, yeah, have a good night and enjoy the game tomorrow. Well, enjoy the game today, if it is on today. But goodbye for now and I'll see you in the next one. So, peace.